Okay, air signs, this video is for you. So, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, how are they feeling about you right now? What messages can Spirit give us in reference to your partner, anybody that's affiliated with air signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? So, the card that comes up to talk about how they're feeling about you right now is, in fact, the Three of Swords. So, when we look at the Three of Swords... It's kind of like, you know what? They don't have a choice but to feel what they're feeling. There's no way for them to avoid this right now. Um, they can't avoid the, avoid the sadness, the sorrow, the disappointment. You know, it's, it's also talking about where this relationship, they know, has a down period. They know where there was quarrels and miscommunication. It feels like this person saying that this has been happening more often than usual. That's what led up to this whole problem that you're going through, air signs. It also feels like somebody's needing to adjust their needs, their values. Somebody's looking to get more clarity an understanding about either themselves or about the other person. Just because this period right here is hard, because there's distance right now, because you're not together, it doesn't really mean it's bad and awful. It doesn't mean that it's never going to work out. It doesn't mean that you're never going to get back together. But what it does mean is that there's a reason for this timeout, so to speak. There's a reason for the delays that are going on. Now, this person is, is quite sensitive where you're concerned. This person doesn't usually, usually, easily um, either walk away or this person doesn't easily try to change their mind and, and, and go from one person to another. That was never their plan. Something had occurred between you and this partner, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That, that began to get on each other's nerves. That began to feel stressed out. That began to feel overwhelming. There also became trust issues. I think the trust issues that's showing were the biggest things to cause this broken heart. For some of you, it is a third party. Yes, unfortunately, the Three of Swords can mean that. Somebody definitely allowed someone to come in between the private space between you and your partner. Your partner didn't do their job and protect you and the relationship the way they were supposed to. When somebody voluntarily allows another person or another thing to come in between you two, somebody didn't do their job. Somebody was very weak. Somebody was very shallow thinking. Somebody acted very immaturely. Somebody acted as if they never had any booty before. That all of a sudden now, oh, this looks so good. So I'm going to be tempted to destroy something that I know is good, solid, and strong. Just to have even a one-night stand with something over here that you can dress up that, that can look real, real cute in, in jeans or that can look real handsome in their hat, whatever, male, female, whichever way this goes. But somebody was definitely a very shallow thinker. The biggest problem shows up air signs that this person wasn't thinking at all. For a lot of you, this person now, at this point, the Three of Wands comes up. This person knows they have a choice to make, a decision to make. They have an option to rule out. This person is working diligently, trying to get back to what they had with you. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person literally broke your heart. They literally threw away 
years of dating, commitment, a history that was building with so many memories. Some of you have been trying to create distractions for yourself by staying busy, hanging with friends or, or family or co-workers, trying to, even the, the new year shows, the new year, trying to have a good time, but the whole time your mind kept going back to the other person, wondering where that other person is, wondering what they're doing. Wondering if they were going to reach out. Wondering if they were going to come back. This person still hadn't made up their mind. Now we're into the first week of January. And this first week of January, there are going to be messages that are going to come in. Either you're going to send the messages or they're going to send the messages. But there's going to be communication here. And it's coming up quickly. This communication is going to start talking about what why it had ended. It's going to start talking about why somebody could not make a choice or decision. Why somebody couldn't cut out the third party shit before it started. This communication is going to consist of finding the strength to stay strong, to keep your boundaries, to not allow this person to hurt you again. The energy is coming in fast. It'll be here before you know it. Unexpectedly, this person will reach out. Or you may get a whim and unexpectedly reach out to them. You might get to the point where going through those grieving stages of being sad, mad, hurt, angry, pissed off, and then resentful. Want to pay back? Want to make them hurt like you hurt? I get it. There's definitely going to be a boundary here. There's definitely going to be your boundary. You're going to have to make the decision here. You're going to have to decide what's worth it and what's not. Air signs. And of course the Empress card comes up. The decision is going to be yours. The decision is going to be yours on whether or not what they say what actions they take, what they do, how they feel guilty enough, or if they apologize, if they seem like they're sorry, that may be a reason that you will consider to give this person another chance. For some of you, the word sorry might not come out of their mouth. For some of you, this person may not want to even discuss everything. They might just want to toss it out and throw it up to just saying that, okay, so I made a mistake, so what? And we just forget it and move forward? Is that enough for you to take them back? Would you give them another try talking like that? Does that sound like they've learned their lesson? Does that sound like they, they realize that they effed up big time? Do they even know what they threw away? That's what you want to know. Because right now, they've pushed you to the rock bottom. Because they, male or female, he or she, was so vain. Oh, I have so many options. Oh, all these people want to go out with me. All these people want to sleep with me. Do I want a whole bunch of one night stand bullshits? Or do I want somebody who's going to be loyal and faithful? Do I want somebody who's on my mind all the time? Do I want somebody who's always got me thinking and worrying and wondering? Somebody who I know appreciates me. For a lot of you, you're holding on so tight to this person. With every ounce of you, you're wanting this person back. A lot of you don't seem to care. A lot of you don't seem to care about the things they've done that were toxic. They were pretty much led by the devil, so to speak, meaning they weren't good things. They weren't positive things. This person wanted to act a fool. 
And yet, you're still holding on. Even though you were overwhelmed. Even though they left you out in the cold. Even though right now you're still mourning, looking at what you lost. You're not even paying attention to what you still have. You're still focused on what you lost. A lot of you are feeling like you're trapped. Like, I have to stay. I have to keep trying. A lot of you feel that it is justice if they come back, if you get what you want. This has definitely given you a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of worries. A lot of worries about this third party situation. Wondering if they're going to tell that other person that they're not going to receive their cup anymore. That they're going to be done with them. You've just hit. You've literally just hit. Around the end of December. The end of a cycle now. Changes are on the way. There still may be some deception here. Somebody may not be completely honest. About the road that they're on right now. A lot of you are asking for help from the universe. A lot of you are still hanging around just waiting for this person to show up. You have a very serious decision to make. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You must simply trust your intuition. You must trust your intuition. If you don't trust <laughs> buttons, if you don't trust your gut, that feeling, if you go against what you truly believe, whether you should go back, whether you should give them another chance, whether you should try it again, do you have that much time to waste? Are you promised tomorrow? Are you promised this moment? Are you promised the next moment? Is this a good investment? If this was money and you were investing all of your money, would you invest it all and, and take the risk of having nothing? If I told you you could invest in this relationship and put all you want into it, just like money, put all the money you own, and if that relationship goes bad, you're homeless, would you take that risk? Let me ask you another way. If your best friend was going through the same situation and they hadn't been dating that long, Although they had a lot of strong feelings for this person because of what they've done to them, would you tell your best friend to take them back? I'm going to leave you with that. 